It's, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, so um, fantastic that I had already booked something here in Glasgow for this. This, <laughs> you know, I, I I didn't open the diary and say when's the when's the final and uh, well, Rangers will definitely be in it. But um, you know, you're thinking a way back in the day. Then probably I shouldn't have done this. You know, <laughs> I could have been in Seville at this moment. A man who's gutted to be missing the party in Seville. Just what does it mean to this football club, though, to get to this stage of European competition? Well, you know, the, the Scottish League has been much criticised over the past, you know, 10 to 15 years, say, and as, it, as being a weak league in, in terms of European stature. And uh, Rangers um, have bucked the trend over the last three or four seasons, you know, Steven Gerrard previously, and uh, now Giovanni is coming and weaving his magic and getting the best out of the players in, in this competition. And uh, it is just absolutely wonderful for the club. And, um, you know, hats off, the Rangers fans are here in their droves in Govan. Um, I, I thought they'd all be at the airport, but they're, they're here at the Mecca that Ibrox is, and uh, it's great to be involved in this wonderful occasion and of course if they can get over the line sum up just how big an achievement that would be well you know they're beating two German clubs so the, 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 the smart odds would be on beating a third German team who are probably not as um, exalted as the, the two that they beat but in saying that it's a cup final uh, back in the day a uh, I played in the final against Real Madrid, and uh, we 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 were they they were the favourites by a, a long chalk, but we managed to do it. And uh, so it's Rangers, I would say, start favourites, and uh, I'm going for Rangers two one. What type of challenge lies in wait? Ibrox here has been such an important part of this European run. They won't have that tonight. Obviously, it's a neutral venue. It's extremely hot as well. How does that influence the match? Yeah, when you say extremely hot, it takes me back to my, my days when I I made a well an appearance, let me say, near the end against uh, Brazil in Seville for Scotland. And, and I must say, I couldn't get my breath. It was so hot over there. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the I mean, it's quite hot here in Glasgow and in London, but um, not as hot as it will be in Seville. And uh, the Rangers guys have got the tenacity and they also have the stamina to withstand any of these elements. You've been involved in huge nights for this club and country as a manager. How will Giovanni van Bronckhorst be feeling and what have you made of the job he's done to get Rangers this far? Yeah, well, well I've been in dialogue with Giovanni. We had him at the Legends game here a couple of months ago and he's a, a, a superb guy. You know, Jan Vouters, um, my assistant at Rangers, what with Giovanni as well and, and said he's a fantastic coach and it, he's now proven that, you know, because of some of the domestic results, you know, people start to, to uh, rethink things. But this guy is fantastic and to do what he's done to get us to the European, one of the European finals is absolutely amazing. We know that. I mean, I'm only... Um, saying what everybody else is saying and, and I'm not able to give you anything new in that but Giovanni is, is now legendary status. Well, if he's legendary status now, just think what he will be if Rangers can get the job done tonight. The atmosphere is already building at Ibrox here in Glasgow, so you can just imagine what it's like in Seville. And you can hear more from Seville and indeed Glasgow as the afternoon progresses here on Sky Sports News.